Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about polygons and more specifically we're going to talk about quadrilaterals. Our goal is to be able to answer questions about quadrilaterals and we're going to use a diagram to help us answer those questions. Before I go any further, today's lesson has been brought to you by Wheat Thins. Not because they're paying me, but because that is the snack I eat today. Alright, so let's talk about quadrilaterals. So first of all, we have a diagram and so let's go through these quadrilaterals. First of all, let's talk about all quadrilaterals are a polygon. So what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed shape with straight sides. So is a circle a polygon? Oh, no, a circle is not a polygon because it does not have straight sides. You're so good. All right, so let's talk about quadrilaterals. Quad meaning, quad means four. So it's going to have four sides. So anything with four sides, four straight sides, is a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral, four straight sides. Now, there are some special types of quadrilaterals that we're going to talk about today. So, for instance, we have a trapezoid. And then we also have a parallelogram. Now, how are these two different? Well, a trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. That means just one pair of the sides are parallel. The other two are not parallel. They will, never, they will not be the same direction, but one of these pairs is. The other one, a parallelogram, has two pairs of parallel sides. So can a parallelogram be a trapezoid? No. Can a trapezoid be a parallelogram? No. But they are both quadrilaterals. So we're going to put them up there. So we have our quadrilateral, which has four sides, and we have our parallel and parallelogram, and we have our trapezoid. Now let's talk about some special types of parallelograms. First of all, we have two special types. We have the rectangle and the rhombus. So what's the difference between a rectangle and a rhombus? Well, a rectangle is going to be a quadrilateral because it has four sides and the opposite sides are parallel. So two pairs of parallel sides. But what makes it special is it has four right angles or four angles with 90 degrees. So if you have four with 90 degrees, that is a rectangle. Now, on the other hand, we have the rhombus. It doesn't have to have four right angles, but it has all sides are the same length. It is also a quadrilateral because it has four sides, and it is also a parallelogram because it has the opposite sides are parallel. But what's unique about it is that all the sides are the same length. So it can be sometimes you might see it squished, and sometimes you might see it like this way squished, or sometimes you might see it a little bit different. We're going to talk about that special case in a minute, but all sides are the same length. So let's put those in our diagram. Now notice that the rectangle and rhombus, they are both parallelograms and they're both quadrilaterals, but they are not necessarily the same thing. But we do have a special case where you have something that is the, a rhombus and a rectangle. So that is going to be, what can you think, what shape has four sides that are all the same length and all of them, all the angles are 90 degrees or right angles. You, you got this, a square, right? So a square is a special type of rhombus because all sides are the same length except it has four angles that are 90 degrees. And it is a, and a square is a special type of rectangle because all, all angles are, four, are 90 degrees, but it is a special type of rectangle because all the sides are the same length which means that it is both a rectangle and a rhombus. But it's also a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel and it is a quadrilateral because because it has four sides. All right, so we can put that in our diagram and our diagram might look like this. So let's ask you some true or false questions and I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to think about this. So true or false, a rectangle is a trapezoid. False, right? They A rectangle has four two pairs of parallel sides, and a trapezoid only has one. True or false? A square is a quadrilateral. True, right. A square has four sides, so it makes it a quadrilateral. All squares are going to be quadrilaterals, because they all have five sides. But are all quadrilaterals? True or false? A, all quadrilaterals are squares. False, because not all of them have four angles for that are 90 degrees and all sides the same length. So that means that it's not. So I want you to look at this new diagram, but there are some blanks in it. So I want you to look at this other diagram. 
and I want you to think about, can you fill in these blanks? So I want you to pause the video, draw this other diagram, and see if you can fill in the blanks. All right, so that's it. All right, so let's take a look at this. If we look closely at this diagram, we can see that there are a couple of blanks. One, we have what this is more of like what we call a Venn diagram. So we have like these circles and they are labeled. So if you look at this one spot to the right, it is labeled and it is by itself. It's not the parallelogram, but what it is a quadrilateral. What special type of case is that? Right, that is going to be a trapezoid. You can even draw a trapezoid in there to, in that circle to make it look like that. Then on the other side, you see that you have a rectangle and a rhombus, and you see that they are overlapping. So you're looking what would go right in the middle of a rectangle and a rhombus. So what is both a rectangle and a rhombus? So when you have those two circles and they overlap and there's a little space in the middle, that means something goes in there and that is going to be a square because a square is both a rectangle and a rhombus. Awesome. Now we're gonna do one more little activity and you're gonna answer sometimes, always, and never. For instance, if I asked you, a square is a quadrilateral. Is it sometimes a quadrilateral, always a quadrilateral, quadrilateral, or never a quadrilateral? Well, a square is always a quadrilateral, so my answer is going to be always. So let me try a couple, and let's see if you can get this. All right, let's think. A trapezoid is a parallelogram. Sometimes, always, or never. Right, it is never a parallelogram. Let's think of another one. A, a rectangle is a rhombus. Is that sometimes, always, or never? Well, sometimes, that's right, because a square is a rectangle and a rhombus, so it is sometimes a rhombus, but only in the special case of a square. Let's try another one. Sometimes, always, or never. A trapezoid is a polygon. Always. A trapezoid is always a polygon. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you some more questions in the form below and you are going to answer these questions. All right. You guys are awesome. Keep up the good work. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to email or contact your teacher. All right. Have a good one. Bye.